Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's car boot haul video. I've got it all set up on the table next to me. You can't see it on the table. I can't make that work in this space at the moment. I'm still, still working on how to make this space work for the for the best for everything. But I have into the car boot sale this morning and I was a bit spendy. I was a bit spendy today. Not as spendy as a certain someone whom I shall mention later. But I was a bit spendy. So things were three, four and five pounds I was saying yes to, which is not like me. Let's get into it. First thing I bought then was this Rubik's Zigzag Puzzle. I've sold this before. I can't remember how much I got for it. It was a long time ago, several years ago. It has 131 interlocking pieces because jigsaws interlock, you know. But they will only, as jigsaws do, they will only fit together a certain way. It is a fiendishly difficult jigsaw puzzle. And yeah, I've just counted the pieces and they're all right. They're all there. I can't speak. They're all correct. So, for example, each of the, when you make it, each of the Rubik's Cubes has to be correct. You can't do it with a, a cube that hasn't, like, each cube has to have been solved before it's put in the puzzle. Does that make sense? Very complicated. That was £2. I'll have a quick swizz and see how much they sell for, because, like I said, I know I've sold one before, but I can't remember what I got for it. Sold prices on it are varying from a fiver to a tenner, so it's not actually very exciting. But I think I did that thing where I went, I've sold one of those in the past, I can sell it again. Next, I got a Kasori air fryer accessory set. So the six air fryer accessories in there, cake pan, skewer rack and five skewers, metal holder, silicon mat, pizza pan, and the egg bites mold with lid. The lady said it had never been opened before. They took it to the car boot cell, but that somebody had opened it in the last few minutes to have a look inside. So you can see that the box has been opened, but all the boxes inside are still sealed. So that person didn't really get very far by taking that, you know, by opening it to have a look. And it also came with the Kasori recipe book, which is what you get when you buy the air fryer. So um, I'm not sure what these retail are. I'm sure you can buy them on Amazon. Get the trusty phone out again. 29.99. 29.99 that sells for on Amazon. That is brand new. And I paid, I paid four or five. I think I paid four. Fairly sure I paid for, I think I remember having a pound back. Quite a few box things this morning, not necessarily new in box, but boxes on my table. A Bura Wellbeing Daylight Therapy Lamp. Now, this has not been opened or tested by me. I couldn't tell you for sure that it works, but it was only 50p, so I was willing to spin my 50p on it. It looks as though it's been stored in somebody's garage, judging by the box. It's fighting to get it out. Hang on. There we go. It is a daylight therapy lamp this is the something 20 version the tl20 tl20 and this is for people who suffer with seasonal affective disorder and um, that is something i experience i do not use the word suffer but i experience seasonal affective disorder i've never been very successful using a daylight lamp but um, I know some people swear by them. It's got all of its instructions and everything. And I thought it was worth taking a chance on it for 50p. It has got the um, power cable in there as well. I will test that later and see if it works. This chap was just doing everything on his stall for 50p at this point. I paid £2 for the Bob Ross Happy Little Accidents board game, um, which I've never seen before. And looking at completed and sold, they only seem to be in the States. There don't seem to be any completed or sold in the UK at all. Uh, there's paper in there. It's it's the cards inside are sealed. Nobody's actually opened it and used it. So it has pens. It has little counters. I don't quite know what the um, what the deal is on the game, but all the bits are there. Hasn't been used. Turn your mistakes into masterpieces. Celebrate your creativity in this positive party game inspired by the wisdom of legendary painter Bob Ross. You will surprise yourself by transforming abstract. I can't speak. Abstract shapes and squiggles, you try saying that, into charming pieces of art. Then share your clever doodles and award points to other players for their inspired creations. Uh, step one, each player creates whimsical squiggles. Step two, transform other players' squiggles into mini masterpieces based on shared inspirations. Step three, vote for your favourites and earn the most votes to win. So that was that was two pounds. Bob Ross is to the US, or is he Australian? I'm not sure. Bob Ross is to overseas what Tony Hart is, or Tony Hart, who was, who was the guy who did um, Art Attack? No, who was the presenter who did Art Attack? Neil somebody. 
Neil somebody who did Art Attack, somebody will know, somebody will put it in the comments. I paid £4 for a Kipling bag, it has a long strap, it has no monkey and it smells like it has belonged to a smoker so it will need to go in the wash. But it, it is in good condition, it is a bag that I might try out for myself for a while but it's somewhat deep and sack like and I do struggle to find things in a deep and sack like handbag. So it definitely needs washing though. I can smell the uh, smell the cigarette smoke come off it. But four pounds for that, we're in good condition. You go in the washing pile. And I paid four pounds again for this dress. And the only reason I paid four pounds for it is because it is new with its tags. It's Voodoo Vixen. Voodoo Vixen dress, new with tags. Uh, original price was forty nine ninety nine. It's called the Ella, and it's in beige and it has uh, mermaids all over it mermaids and it says Hawaiian Islands vacation mermaid that smells of storage but it doesn't smell of um, cigarette smoke for a horrible moment I thought I felt a security tag but it was the rain bit on the belt so very 50 style very 50 style dress and uh, that was four pounds and that will need to be I don't I don't want to wash it because it's newer tags but I think I'll air it on the line and see if I can just get the storage smell out of it a little bit just smells a bit cupboardy cupboardy is a word I was quite pleased with this. This is a House of Tweed large bag. Smells again a little bit of storage. And the lady said, Oh, that was £3 and there's a purse inside. And sure enough, there is a purse inside. There was no money in the purse, never is. Um, it was very, very bobbly, and I've de bobbled half of it already. So I've got my, you can see the bobbles on this side. I've got my de bobble on this side. Funnily enough, I'm going to mention this. Um, there is a link to this in my description box of every video. Uh, it is an affiliate link because it's an Amazon link, so I get paid 1.1100111 pence if you buy one or whatever. But the reason I mention it is because it's the most popular thing out of all of my Amazon links that are in my description box. This is the thing that keeps on selling over and over again. And well deserved because it's really good. I've debobbled half of this. Have a look at that. I'm going to do the other half now. Live on camera. It's a Phillips debobbler, and like I said, it's linked in my description box, and it has saved many a jumper, and now it's saving this purse. The work of moments. I mean, there's, there's a bit there that I missed up in that corner, but yeah. Fantastic little gadget. They're, I don't know how much they are now. I've had it years and years and years. I put rechargeable batteries in it and I've had it for yonks and it just keeps going. There we go. Good as new practically. Obviously used but very good condition. House of Tweed purse, nice zip around and then the lovely bag to go with it. Those were three quid for the pair. That is a bargain. A bargain is a bargain and big are we were I paid five pounds for a babbleous big hair. They sell for about 35 to 40 quid. So um, the lady was not for turning on this one. I did off ask her if she would come down a little bit and she wasn't having it. But um, to be honest, it's still worth the fiver. I don't think there's a heat mat in there, but then do they even come with a heat mat? No, no mention of a heat mat on the box. Probably doesn't need a heat mat. It probably doesn't heat up that much, does it? It's, it's a blow dry curler. So five pound for that one. These were pound, they are midwinter, and I bought them because I liked them, but I didn't look very closely at them. This was in the early stages of the car boot this morning. My legs were really, really bad. I went to Cardiff Arena last night to see James Blunt, and my legs were really bad afterwards. So I don't think I was in my zone properly this morning. I didn't look at these very closely. They're very, very badly crazed. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to make out the crazing on camera, but they're very bad crazy. They have got the original stoppers. One of them's got a bit pushed in, and I don't pull it out because I think it's quite withered. But yeah, shame about the crazing very very 70s or even maybe 60s or even maybe 50s i don't actually know i wouldn't listen to me if i were you i plainly don't know stuff 10p for a libra leonardo collection libra mug star sign mugs usually go okay things are not focusing because of all the stuff behind me you'd have to believe me it's a libra mug there we go and then 50p each for a funny face bowl. This is not the trade winds table. I think this is the Matalan version. Funny face bowl. We are not getting any focus today. There we go. And also 50 peach for these two Wittard of Chelsea mugs. 
fifty. So that was one pound fifty first. Three items off on one lady. I really do need to do some listing. I know you've heard that before, but this week I haven't done any listing at all because I'm busy, and everything from last week's car boot is still sitting. I'm supposed to list it as it comes in. And we're not even talking about the death pile. And then from Steve, I only spent three pounds on Steve's stall this morning, but don't you worry, Steve was not sweating because Josh had just parted with two hundred and fifty pounds. Josh, you heard me. £250 he spent with Steve this morning. I won't tell you what he bought because I'm sure he'll be doing his own video about it. But um, he, he looked a bit pale when I bumped into him a few minutes later. He looked a bit pale and sweaty. But I spent £3 on some Witter Out of Chelsea stuff. I've got a couple of espresso cups and saucers and a couple of the slightly bigger... What are they? I think these might be Demitasse cups. These ones are espresso. I think these are Demitasse. So that was my £3 from Steve. My £3 won't be keeping Steve alive this week. It's all right because Josh is on it. And then from another seller, I paid two pounds for a Whitard of Chelsea teacup and saucer. Can't remember which seller, which seller I got it from, but it was two pounds because it says two pounds on it. Look, it's got a little sticker on there. It says two quid. A lady had a table full of Denby and it was all a pound each, but a lot of it was cups and saucers. And I find the cups and saucers don't sell very well. The mugs team seem to sell okay, but who uses cups and saucers these days? However, she did have three of the Savoy side plates. These are such a lovely design. They are. I don't know, they remind me a bit of Claris Cliff, the Savoy stuff. Reminds me of Claris Cliff. Um, I should be able to get eight to ten pounds each on these side plates, and they were a pound each. This one was more of a nostalgia buy than anything else. This is the Usborne Beginners Cookbook. This is a later edition than the one that I had. I think I had it, when I say I had it, I think I had it when Anthony was little. So, you know, 30 odd years ago. But this is a later version, I think. Let me see when the... Uh, the the pictures look a little more, more up to date. 2002. So yeah, the one that Anthony would have had would have been earlier than that. But yeah, just a very nostalgic kids cookbook and possibly for me actually. Possibly, possibly not to sell unless it turns out to be worth absolute fortune, which is unlikely, isn't it? Chocolate refrigerator cake. Oh dear, I'm back on the diet. Does look good though. Cornflake crunch. Marshmallow crispies. It's got um, savoury stuff in there as well, cheesy sausages. Mushroom crustache. What's a crustache? Crustard, sorry. Mus mushroom crustard. That looks quite nice. It looks a bit like a quiche. I don't know what the difference is between a crustard and a quiche. A savoury bread and cheese pudding. A savoury, the very notion. A savoury muffin. Life is full of enough disappointments, Gary. Interesting. 20p. 20p for the Osborne Beginners Cookbook. And I paid 20p for this metal file box, which is going to go up there and replace the cardboard one that's falling apart. That is the haul and all of the haul. If you have seen anything in this video that tickles your pickle, then my email address is always in the description box below and you can get in touch with me and we can sort something out. I really do need to do some listing today, but I also need to go to the unit and collect my sold items because I won't have the car tomorrow because the car is going back to the garage again. So maybe the listing has to take a back seat, but then tomorrow when I have no car, I'll have no excuse not to do any work, will I? Always thinking. Right, thank you for joining me. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.